Hello, Regina. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm sure you know who I am. Yes, next <laughs> one. <laughs> and you know, also know why I'm here. Yes. Good. So let's get started. Then nice. With your 23.3 questions. I'm excited. Um, this is a bit personal, and I hope you can help us clear the confusion. Your year of birth on Wikipedia is listed as 1982 or 1983, which is which? I'm going to keep a little bit of mystery, so I'll still keep you guessing, <laughs> you know, so let's, as they say, a lady never tells her age, so let's leave that a little bit of mystery about me. Okay, we'll definitely find out some other time. I'm um, sure, well, if you do, I mean. <laughs> yes, you've received many awards and hit many achievements. How many in total? Yeah, I don't count my awards, honestly. Um, after it's done, I feel like had more work, more work. So I don't know. From the top of my head, I know it would be like maybe 10 or more, but I don't really count. Okay. You've earned all of those, actually. So yes. you should be proud of them. I am <laughs> proud of them. I'm, I'm very proud of them. Um, but it, it, for me, it's like a measure of you need to do more because mm. next time you need to hit another bar. milestone. Exactly. And, yeah. So it motivates me um, as I'm also proud of what I've done. It keeps going yeah. on and on, yeah, which is really good. You were part of the 2005 class of Ashesi. What was the experience like at Ashesi? Ashesi was really an amazing experience um, because first we were in the first class. so. At the time, everybody was like, what is this new university coming out? And Ashesi really shaped the way we thought um, because it's a liberal arts college and they promote a lot of critical thinking, problem solving, and really not taking things at face value and questioning. Um, so I really had an amazing experience. I attribute my Ashesi education to the woman that I am today. I don't think I would have come this far, I would have accomplished what I've accomplished if I hadn't gone to a university like Ashesi. That's good to know. That's also an inspiration for me to go to Ashesi. Please, <laughs> you need to go there. <laughs> well then, Ashesi is the best university in Ghana, true or false? True, without a doubt. Are you being biased? No, <laughs> it's a very objective opinion. Well, we'll take that. Are you single? No, I'm happily married with an adorable daughter. Mm. Good to know. You are well known in relation to Shronko Academy. What's your role and what is it about? So at Shronko Academy, I'm the CEO. So Shronko is a coding and human-centered design academy. We teach children and adults um, how to create technology. And we are very big on bridging the gender gap in technology. So we focus a lot also on women and girls. And after the training in how to create technology, we connect them to job opportunities. Mm, that's good. Which is your favorite programming language? I love Java. Java was my first love. Um, and I'll still stay true to my first love, which is Java. Um, now, from Java, I built on to different programming languages. But I think my favorite still remains Java. I like PHP every now and then. I started with Python and basically move it, move I am by our story. <laughs> no, I, I, <laughs> Java was my first love. So oh, I still like, like good. Java. What three dishes are on your bucket list to taste? Hmm, my bucket list. So I want to do some exotic sea animal. Um, that's one. I want to do the insect. So either a cockroach <laughs> or a beetle mm -hmm. or a something. I don't know. I, I know some countries, they have that as a delicacy. Exactly. There's, it's, there are even some countries that have it as some gastronomical yes, experience. Yes, so yes. I would like to try one of those. And I think what's the third one? Um, hmm, I don't know. Oh, the third one, I mean, something out there. But I, I, those are the like what comes Good. to mind. Mm. At what point did you realize you love tech and wanted to go deep dive? So I think the first for me was twelve when I first held a computer, <laughs> and I played Pac-Man and I fell in love with Pac-Man. Um, and I really wanted to change it. So that got me really excited about technology and wanting to go into coding. Um, because I was told that in order to change the game, I had to learn how to code. Yeah. So it was Pac-Man that took me to technology. Oh, okay. Pac-Man has done a good job then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Managed to convince her to join the tech firm. Definitely. I heard this rumor that you are an expert dancer. True or false? False. Hmm. <laughs> so you don't want to uh, give us some moves? No, ish. 
I don't want to disgrace myself and my family members. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, okay. No. Well, Tech Needs Girls, what's the initiative about and the project itself? So, Tech Needs Girls is a mentorship program where we teach girls from 6 to 18 how to lead and innovate by learning to code. So, we work with young girls. They are trained by mentors who are other women in tech and they teach them how to code and create technology. Wow, this is a beautiful place you have here. Thank you. This is a classroom, right? Oh, so this is one of our event spaces. We sometimes also use it for classes, depending oh, on what's okay. happening. Yeah. Mm, good. Holy Child did fantastic in the recent National Science and Math quiz. Do you think you can answer all their questions? No. On the National Science and Math quiz? Uh, not at all. In fact, <laughs> I don't know what they study but I don't even remember any of the things that they ask them. They do really good, like... Amazingly the well. The students are amazing. Amazing. All the, all the answers I normally can think of is one mole and those things. Like, I'm that's like, the only thing I remember from my chemistry. Is this the chemistry we did in SS? Like, well, I don't know, because it's, it's really intense. It's like, really intense. And, and the, the, they are really good, like... You know, I really wanted to do science and maths when I was in Holy Child, mm. and I was actually being trained, but... Now I'm like ish. <laughs> uh, definitely not my thing because no, 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 I no. can cheer them from the stands, yes. but not. And, going and up this there. is what we did. So I actually went to cheer the last, not this year, the other year. We went to see the students, oh. a group of alumni to encourage them yeah. and all of that. So this is now the role that I play. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you need to motivate them. To motivate them, that's, that's the best very I can necessary. Do. Yeah. What's one thing you hate? It could be anything including food allergies, trypophobia, snakes. I hate being taken for granted and I hate people that judge and underestimate um, other people without giving them a chance and I just hate people that, you know, try and take advantage of people that they deem weaker. Oh, okay. Okay. So many hates. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite food and color in the world? Okay, I love kinky. You know, mm. a Is long time ago. the kinky or the... Noga kinky. Okay. I used to eat kinky when I lived in Osu. I used to eat kinky morning, afternoon, and evening. I still... Yeah, so I have a ritual. When I travel, when I travel, I eat kinky before I leave and kinky when I arrive. Ooh. Yeah, so it's like you kinky need to... fills me, <laughs> then I go. Then when I come back, it welcomes me. Maybe your your favorite airline needs to add kinky today. I'm telling you, sex. You is know? there is there any airline? No, that no, no, no. They don't do kinky. I don't think so. The best they'll do is like your love. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. no kinky. Ever consider writing a book about yourself? And what title do you think it would have? Huh, I would like to write a book, but I think it's like a lot of hard work, and you have to yeah. find time to sit down. I mean, for the titles, it could be something like The Girl That Could, or Step Out of Your Comfort Zone, or Dare to Be Different, or something like Just Do It. Just Do It. Just Do It. <laughs> <laughs> Nike is going to come for you. It's true, eh? I'll tell, I'll tell Nike we can, you know, work on an agreement. Yes. Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram. Um, first, because now I'm doing a lot more professional stuff. Okay. Um, Facebook, um, I can write a lot. <laughs> I don't have to try and put it to 280 or however yeah, many characters yeah. there are now. Um, you are able to express yourself. Exactly. That's very important. Um, Twitter, it's next. So I think LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and, and Instagram. I'm not like I feel like I miss that generation. You know, like <laughs> not to yeah because I feel like. I'm not, I use it for my work and even I have to remind myself, it doesn't come like, you know, so I don't know. Some just, people just wake, wake up, up and then log on to. Yeah, no. That's not you. So if you see my feeds, it's mostly work and it's, it's like, it's spaced. Sometimes there'll be like a month, nothing happened. <laughs> you know, I forget and I'm like, oh, go on to Instagram. So Instagram is the last one, yeah. Let's talk fashion a bit. What's your favorite fashion trend of all time? I like the wrap dress because the wrap dress is versatile. Um, you can wear it day or night depending. I love the styles where there's one fabric inside and one another fabric outside. So it's like you're wearing two different outfits, oh. you know, but it's like the same okay. dress. So wrap dress, I think, you know, you can get away with a lot of things <laughs> and you still look um, fashionable. 
Good, Good to know. know. What's one thing you learned in science that continues to amaze you? Hmm, learned in science that continues to amaze me. Hmm, that's a big one. Eh? What did I learn that continues to amaze me? Let me say one thing that continues to baffle me mm -hmm. is osmosis. I always say this because, <laughs> I mean, that flow of water from an upward mode to a downward yeah. or downwards upward to a semi-permeable <laughs> membrane, I never got that. I mean, so I'm still... Amazed forward. by that. Yes, yes, what that means and how that applies in yeah. daily yeah. living, yeah. This is a pretty interesting um, phenomenon. What's one thing your friends don't like about you? I'm not very social and in touch, I have to be honest. I'm very reserved and I work a lot, so I'm not the friend that would be on the phone like, oh, what's up for tonight? No, um, I don't keep in touch as much as I can. And mm -hmm. um, so I think my friends would like me to be more present oh, and yeah. you know, work more oh. in the friendship, okay. but I'm there when you need me. Um, so, Which is very important. Yes, so I always tell them, look, I may not be always present, but if you ever need me, yeah. I'm, I'm the person to go to. Yeah. Thank you for assuring your friends that. <laughs> yes, I need to. <laughs> and I'm sure right now that we have the nest right here on, camp, uh, on, on your premise, then it means we can go out, but then still. <laughs> exactly. And I'm now trying to call them like, oh, you know, yeah, come, because they were yes, like, yeah. you never called us. Yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah now yeah. we can just chill. Yes. Yeah. Right on my compound. Exactly. <laughs> Your next question, what's one thing about today's society that drives you nuts? I, I think it's really crazy how first um, people are dominated by their need to live this life off of social media um, and people put up so much information and assess themselves based on the number of likes or yeah. try and um, copy like other people. So I feel like we're losing sense of self, yes, you know, and yes. young people feel like you need to be this or you need yeah. to be that or you need to look this way or um, you need to have filters, you yeah. know, you need to wear lashes or... That's happening a lot. Yeah, so it's like, what's wrong with just being you and being your unique self and being fine yeah. with being your unique self? So I think it's really sad that our definition of self is what everybody else thinks and our validation of self is the number of likes. Yeah. That's true. It's actually unfortunate that we've gotten to that point. What's your favorite video game? I'm not very big on video games, unfortunately, okay. um, <laughs> because I feel like the developer community will give me lashes. Because <laughs> I'm not a true techie if I don't like video games. But, uh, you know, I mean, I tried. I, I did a lot of street fights, um, street fights, games. the games, okay. yeah, it wasn't really my thing. And um, before I learned how to drive, I did some of the racing games. That's oh, when I knew that my yeah. sense of direction needed okay. work because I kept going off. So yeah, I don't have a favorite. I'm not a big game. Maybe we'll, we'll get you one in 2020. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Have you played FIFA before? I, I, not really. Like oh. maybe I, I took the controller when my husband or somebody was yeah. playing with it, but okay. not like a full okay. game. Tech Needs Girls, Sronko Academy. Are there any upcoming initiatives? What should we all look forward to from Regina? So, there are two that I'm very excited about. The first one is um, we're setting up an all women business solutions center um, that would be run by underprivileged women from a particular community. We train them and then employ them at the business solutions center. Um, and that serves as a source of income. It also serves as a way to get the women to intern at the center and get some work experience. So I'm excited about that. And we're also about to start an incubator for the women in our network um, because it seemed like the next logical step since a lot of the women want to start businesses yes. um, and we're like, okay, we can help them. So we're piloting that. So we're actually going to convert one of the spaces here into a small co-working space okay just very like five women it's not yeah. going to be a big production and um, do proof of concept on the whole idea mm -hmm. and then maybe expand in the future we also have some exciting partnerships coming up that mm -hmm. we are looking forward to yes. you know yes. um, those collaborations also so, very necessary yes very necessary so i think it's uh, it's going to be a pretty exciting year 2020 and you can look forward to a lot of amazing things but really for us it's now the time to show our impact, right? And to have um, projects that demonstrate impacts and that really allow, you know, uh, students and beneficiaries to 
get like a lot of impact from our programs here. Looking forward to that. Yes. Here's per perhaps a bittersweet question. What three things do you love and hate about Accra? I don't really like the filth, the noise, <laughs> um, and um, that everything is so political that you can't have an objective conversation. Yeah. Um, what I love about Accra is the air, <laughs> um, the atmosphere, and the sense of community among people. You know, I think if you take everything away, Ghanaians are very helpful, we are very hospitable. Um, if you are stuck on the road, a lot of people will help you. If there's any issue, people will come to your aid. So I really love that, that against everything, against all our problems, when push comes to shove, Ghanaians rally and help each other. That's um, very yeah. necessary. A young kid wants to get into tech. Any advice from your experience? So from my experience, the first thing I would say is they need to be willing to step out of their comfort zone and work very hard at it. They need to keep practicing. Um, what I see is when you start, you expect it to be sort of easy. Yeah. So when you find it difficult, whatever difficult is for you, then you're like, mm, this is not for me. Yeah. I don't think, you know, tech is for me. Yeah. Yes. So you need to go in knowing that um, the beginning, the entry point may be a little hard, mm -hmm. but once you move from that point, it, it's smooth sailing. I mean, not pepper, but I can't just say, oh, go into it, it's easy. Yeah. It's going to be challenging. You have to have the mindset that you have to push. Yeah. You know, you have to give it your all. So know that you must go in driven, passionate, and keep trying. Thank you for that advice. <laughs> and your last 23.3 question. Do you have any plans for the rest of today? So today we're having game night at the nest. Um, so we just, um, my husband just set up a, a grill cafe and bar at the academy. We realized that we had space and yes. we're like, yeah, I mean, this could be also a good way to engage our community, yes. our network, yes. you know, yes. food and drinks. It doesn't get any better than that. So um, I'm going to be chilling. Um, I, I gave my daughter to a babysitter, so I'm free for the night. <laughs> so, all night, eh? All night, so like, you know, she's with her grandma, mm -hmm. so I'm free. So I'm just going to let my hair down, which I've already oh, done, yes. you know, and yes. just have a good time. I also enjoyed my put mashed potato and... Uh, Pork ribs. Pork, Pork ribs. Gra ribs. Yes. Oh, oh good. good. <laughs> yes. I'm struggling to pronounce it, but I really enjoyed I'm it. I'm glad you enjoyed it. it. Definitely will pass by some other time. Nice, nice, Thank nice. Thank you so much, um, Regina, for sharing my pleasure. your answers with us. Thank we'll you. definitely come your way with more 23.3. That would be great. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Enjoy the rest of your day. Bye. <laughs> Bye.